This is Dirk Strangely. Thank you for joining me on this painting of Stormy Weather, one of my favorite characters. First, we wet down our watercolor paper. Get it nice and wet. Then we take this sepia. It's a blend of my own. I made it with coffee. And we put a little layer of that. It doesn't have to be consistent. Put it wherever you want. Just get the color in there. You don't want it white. You keep your paper wet and it'll blend really nice. Then start blocking in your, your color. This is stormy weather, kind of gloomy looking. So I'm, I sprinkled some salt on there. You can see the pattern down there. Then after it dries, I wet it down, drop some more color in there. It's wet, so it's gonna blend. Believe it or not, it's gonna look nice and bright and happy over there on the left. And it's gonna be gloomy and desaturated over here. And I start on the underpainting of Stormy Weather. His robe is really important here. The way it flows to the left. Getting the rope right will make or break it. He's an empathic character, so the robe's got to flow with the way life feels. Sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes down. So we find the balance between two, up and down. Oh, right here I'm looking for placement of the arms. I always draw it in my head first. You'll see me doing it. Now I'm figuring out where I want the umbrella and how big I want it. You just block it in. I always like making one eye a little bigger than the other one gives it a sense of being a, a little deranged, but there's still, there's still some intelligence in there. And there's my sepia tone. It's a coffee concentrate that I make. I've been making it since the late 90s, since the 1900s. Sorry about the camera not being completely clear here. Um, I guess I forgot to adjust it. I just kind of set it up in the direction where you could see it and then just went at it. So I sped it up, but I kept it in there. I didn't cut it out so you could still kind of see what was going on. I'm adding in all kinds of textures and colors, just making it really bright. And the city's very flamboyant and colorful. And there it is, you can see it clear now. Add some highlights, show some direction of the way stormy weather is gonna look. I just add, I'm adding in a little blue here. Just giving it some direction. And I did not speed this up at all. This is really how fast I paint. Just joking. It sped up. I take some cloth and I wrap it up in a roll and I put tape around it and I use it to blot loose droplets of watercolor when they're unwanted. better than grabbing a napkin and not being able to predict if that napkin is dirty and going to put a blot somewhere else. You could try to blot something off but end up with a big blot from using the napkin. So I use rolls so I know what is on it. If it's dirty, I don't blot. If it's clean, I blot.
I love the way this looks right here. That looks awesome. See the city to the left there? It looks interesting. You want to like go visit it, see what's there. It's colorful, looks glamorous. And then you look over to him and it's all gray and desaturated, not a lot of color. But he'd rather be beneath a storm cloud than being inside the toxic city of empathic pollution. How's that for sounding artsy? Think about it though. Like the things around us affect us. If you live in a city, you're affected by everything around you. Well, wherever you are, you're affected by everything around you. But stormy weather, he is not really the type of person that likes to be around negative people or any any kind of people, really. He's probably had too many toxic people in his life, and now he's happy just living beneath a storm cloud. But he's content. And he exists. And he has the right to exist. Whether it's a happy ending or, it's, or not so happy ending. I believe in happy endings though. Happy endings are the best kind of endings. So I, I like to let that white just kind of drip like across in the background and you see it went over his robe a little bit and it highlighted the left side of his head which is exactly where the highlight would be anyway so that was a happy coincidence and not so much an accident but it was a coincidence that it worked out on two different levels here I'm just kind of blending blending in that white, making it look more like a mist, like a haze. The thing about paint and stormy weather, by the way I've been painting stormy weather since I believe 2008, uh, it's a, one of my first characters since I've been a painter. and. Um, I just try to make it as colorful as I can on the left side and then stormy and gray and desaturated on the right side that's one of the most important things about stormy weather sometimes I'll write binary in the sky too I don't do it in this painting but sometimes I'll think of something cool to write in binary and then I'll I'll put it in there it looks really Looks really cool and surreal. I hear art st students say that um, they were taught not to put words and letters in their art, in fine art. And if you do, it's not considered fine art. But I didn't go to art school, so I don't have to follow that rule. I don't think anybody has to follow that rule. but. I hope that's not a rule. That would really limit what you can do. See, I'm trying to get it as colorful as I can over here on the left side. Make it look as dazzling as possible. I keep showing that sepia tone. I just think it's cool that I make my own color. Yeah, this is a blurry part again. I don't know why every time I tried getting in there with the detail, it was blurry. <clears throat> I 
instead of the binary, I kind of went with these surreal bubbles. It's just part of his world. Those things just like float around. And of course on his side they're white. On the left side they're color and some of them are misshapen. I kind of like to think that they're misshapen because they've been mutated by the influence of the city. And the influence of the city is like people getting upset in traffic and um, just honking, cars driving, signals going off, traffic lights, people talking, walking, a sound of industrial equipment working. If you hear me struggling over here, it's because my cat keeps jumping on me. Her name's Lily. And she's a warrior. I got a toothbrush and I'm just spritzing white watercolor on there. And then some of the sepia too. Only on the right side though. I didn't do it on the left side. I want stormy weather to look as organic as possible. And I think it's what really gives him his personality. The look in his eyes, the, his posture, his environment, everything about him makes him an interesting character. I hope you enjoyed this painting. This is painting stormy weather with Dirk Strangely. That's me. If you like this painting, you can go to worldestrangely.com and I have prints for it and possibly even the original will be up there. Go take a look. Thanks for watching.